The primary reason as to why Muslims worship God, to put simply, because of who God is. Beyond the fact that God created us and bequeathed us with all we have, God is worthy of veneration and worship solely by virtue of who He is as a being. Even if God has given us far less, He would still deserve worship and veneration exclusively. To Him belongs the perfect names and attributes. God is the Almighty, the Majestic, the All-Knowing, the All-Seeing, the All-Hearing. He is the only being that is all-perfect. We worship Allah, the Glorious, because He is our Lord, our Master, our Creator, and we are His slaves, His servants. God is the only one that ultimately sustains, cares for, maintains, and nourishes His creation through the grace of His bounty. God deserves endless praise by virtue of His perfect names and attributes. We praise athletes and celebrities who have limited and flawed attributes, so we should heap endless praise upon God, the one that has no deficiency nor flaw. Our existence is solely dependent on God, as we are not self-sufficient, contrary to the belief of some people. God makes it very clear in His holy book, the Qur'an, that the sole purpose of our lives is to worship Him. God sent messengers and prophets to relay His message to mankind. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Quran 51:56. Islamic worship is not limited to religious rituals such as praying and fasting. Instead, the faith clarifies that everyday human acts such as eating, drinking, greeting others, sitting, learning, dressing, sleeping, giving charity, etc. are all acts of worship if done for God alone and in accordance with His divine laws and guidelines. Of course, we have another secondary reason as to why we worship God. We thank Him for creating us and for what He has given us, despite the fact that we did not earn nor deserve any of it. God has given us so much. His favors are innumerable. God gives without measure to His servants. He gave the gift of life and the ability to hear, feel, taste, and see. God gifted human beings their hearts, minds, souls, strengths, skills, and countless other things. And He gave you all of what you have asked of Him. And if you count the favor of Allah, you will not be able to count them. Indeed, mankind is surely unjust and ungrateful. Quran 14.34 We worship God because He is the loving, and His love exists in the purest form. We worship God to gain taqwa, God-fearing piety, righteousness, mindfulness, and consciousness of God. Life becomes meaningful as we fulfill our life's purpose resulting in a better and peaceful life here in this world and the hereafter. As a secondary motivation, we worship God so that we can earn the reward of paradise and avoid certain condemnation to the flames of hellfire. God created man to be a follower and a worshiper. If he is not devoted to God, he will devote himself to others by default. Whether they are false gods, saints, idols, celebrities, philosophers, ideologies, entertainers, social icons, or even one's own ego and desires. He loves and obeys these false icons by the way of thought and actions which lead him astray. And especially in the present day, we have replaced physical idols with other contemporary gods with the false god assuming the form of one's own earthly desires. These yens express themselves in the forms of self-entertainment, the consumption of illegal drugs, or the goal and love of acquiring material goods, with this love suppressing one's love of God. These illicit desires will eventually enslave us, until finally they become our masters. Have you seen he who has taken as his God his own desire? And Allah sent him astray due to knowledge, and he has set a seal upon his hearing and upon his heart and put over his vision a veil. So who will guide him after Allah? Then will you be reminded? Quran 45, 23. In the Islamic faith, Muslims do not worship the creations of God, such as the sun, the moon, or an idol. Instead, they worship the Creator Himself. We worship God out of love and submission to Him. Without God, one would have many masters demanding subservience from Him. Worshiping the one God, by contrast, means true liberation from these earthly and ever-oppressive bonds. True faith does not oppress, but instead sets one free, meaning that one will no longer be a slave to nor a prisoner of society's pressures and desires. 
Allah presents an example, a slave owned by quarreling partners and another belonging exclusively to one man. Are they equal in comparison? Praise be to Allah. But most of them do not know. Quran 39, 29. God does not need the worship of humans. He certainly did not create human beings from a need to seek his glory. If not a solitary person worshiped God, it would not diminish his glory. God exists free of any needs. On the other hand, humans were created with needs and wants inherent. Thus, it's mankind that requires the worship of God. Human beings need to worship and glorify God by obeying his divinely revealed laws. Obedience to God is the key to success in this life and in the hereafter. Believing in and obeying God is the most logical and rational thing to do in life. And by contrast, not believing in and actively disobeying God is a foolish thing to do. Stay on the side of the wise and the righteous. Believe. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.